more accessible. It's our responsibility. And our commitment to make it better. For all of us. Total committed to better energy. The Chairman, Implementation Committee of the Presidential Special Scholarship Scheme for Innovation and Development, Proceed, Professor Julius A. Okoje, OON, wishes to announce the release of shortlisted candidates for the 2015 forward slash 2016 edition of the scheme. All applicants are advised to check for their names in the following newspapers of Tuesday, November 11, 2014 and Thursday, November 13, 2014. The Guardian, This Day, Punch, Daily Trust, Leadership. Daily Sun, Tribune, Pilot, Champion. Those whose names appear in the list of shortlisted candidates are hereby invited for the next stage of the selection process, a computer-based test scheduled as follows. Date, Monday 8th of December 2014. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. Venues, Abuja FCT. Venue would be communicated to candidates. London, UK. Venue would be communicated to candidates. Washington, D.C., USA. Venue would be communicated to candidates. Shortlisted candidates are advised to read the newspapers carefully and visit the Proceed website www.scholarship.nuc.edu.ng for conditions and requirements for the computer based test. Announcer Professor Julius A. Okoje, OON, Chairman, Proceed Implementation Committee. Ahead of the December 8th People's Democratic Party governorship primaries, Leaders and delegates of the party in HA local government area of River State have resolved to endorse former Minister of State for Education, Ngesam Wike, as flag bearer of the party in 2015. The endorsement was given when the aspirant visited the area to seek support for his ambition. the turn of the people of Eche to play host to former Minister of State for Education, Yeson Wiki, who is currently on a tour of all the 23 local government areas in River State to commission his campaign office as well as seek support of party leaders and delegates to the governorship primaries of the People's Democratic Party, now slated for December 8. Eche is home to one of the aspirants, but the people say they've elected to go with Yeson Wiki. A man who they say has done so much for their area. You started this struggle not for yourself, we know, but for the interests of all. Wherever you go, Wahida, we will go with you. Remember all the AP community in the Eche land and let them know that you are a good man. Delegates we have is for you. The vote we have is for you. I will not disappoint you. Yeah. We know, we know. Eche is also the food basket of River State. One thing Yeson Wike could not help but notice is the poor state of road. And your sons and daughters will be moving around to say, go to ABC. ABC is the hope of Eche. Is that possible? <laughs> Can ABC be the hope of Eche? <laughs> For change to happen, Wike wants his party members to set aside their differences and concentrate more on how the party can achieve victory at the polls. PDP is on ground in a chain, but that can only materialize and you get the results when all of you are working uh, together. Before he left, the PDP aspirant also commissioned his new Rivers Vision campaign office. A People's Democratic Party governorship aspirant in River State, Lancelot Ayaya, alongside other aspirants, have expressed commitment to support President Goodluck Jonathan in the 2015 elections. They made the pledge at a meeting with Edwin Clark and other leaders of the Niger Delta. AIT's Ogie Himekbe reports. Lancelot Ayaya led 16 other PDP governorship aspirants in River State to the all-important meeting which was attended by some leaders from how to amicably resolve the current political crisis in River State was top on the agenda of the meeting. We are able to come out a more united people. We are thankful to all our leaders for the interest, for the intensity and the passion that drives their commitment to chatting a peaceful, 
course. Nobody's aspiration can be greater than where it comes from. Uh, to be it is bigger than the aspirations of all the aspirants you know, put together. Uh, and ultimately, what is best for River State is what every aspirant should pursue. Other PDP leaders in River State appeal for understanding and calm among all party faithful to further strengthen the bond of the unity in the party and River State. I believe that President Goodluck Jonathan must get all the votes that are available in River State, the same way we gave him the vote in 2011. And anything that will stop the vote from coming out, we must make sure that we nip it in the bond. In the positions we have taken all along, I believe that justice will serve. Last year, I have said they have all resolved to support President Goodluck Jonathan. Ogi Inekman, AIT News, Abuja. President Goodluck Jonathan has called on oil producing countries to cooperate in order to overcome the current challenge of falling crude oil prices. Speaking as an audience with Angola's new ambassador to Nigeria, Eustachio Janeiro Kibato, President Jonathan said oil producing countries in Africa need to come together and strategize on the best ways of protecting their domestic economies from fluctuating oil prices. Noting that Nigeria and Angola have always had cordial bilateral relations, the president called for the expansion of trade, economic, and political cooperation between the two countries. Hungary's new ambassador to Nigeria, Tena Gabo, called for greater international support and assistance for the West African countries that continue to be plagued by the Ebola virus disease. President Jonathan also received letters of credence from the new ambassador of Burundi, Matthias Haranungarawe, and the new ambassador of Serbia, Professor Jovan Maric. So far, but we are only halfway there. From the Lagos Ibadan Expressway to the Eastern and Western Railway corridors, we are building the roads to the future. Dozens of projects to deliver the promise of our nation to every village and every family. A president who remained calm in crisis and kept building the Nigeria of the future, no matter the obstacles. We can't go back. We are building the roads to Nigeria's future. Good luck, Jonathan. One Nigeria moving forward together. season and make sure to text 11 to 400 to get a surprise from MTN. MTN, everywhere you go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, someone special here tonight whose understanding, knowledge, and support has truly made our juice company prosper. I wonder what goes into the kindles. You'd be amazed. It often starts from the farm, where fresh fruits are grown and carefully sorted, and straight on to the factory, where they are pressed, processed, and packaged. Then off they go again, this time to large distributors like you, and retail shops, where people buy and pay with ease. You seem to know quite a lot about this. You work for the juice company then? I suppose I do. Please join me in welcoming our business banking service partner, Stanbic IBTC Bank.
partnerships that move us forward. Scandic IBTC Bank moving forward. This needs precision. Yes! Got to get her home before her curfew. My dad! Uh oh, got to get her home fast! If we cut across three streets in three minutes and speed across the market in two, should make it to the... Uh-oh. Can we make it? If we take the stairs at 30 seconds per flight, we just might... Yes! Made it in time. Mission accomplished. Get everyday energy fast with Lucozade Boost. Welcome to Business Reports. I am Chioma Onyabo. The National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, says Nigeria's Consumer Price Index, CPI, which measures inflation, dropped further to 8.1% in October compared to the 8.3% the previous month. The figures, which was contained in a report by the Bureau and made available to newsmen, also showed Nigeria's capital importation portfolio increased by 12.7%. The National Bureau of Statistics, in its latest CPI figures, stated that the food index rose by 9.3% year-on-year in October, down by 0.4 percentage point from 9.7% recorded in September. Meanwhile, year-on-year, the pace of increase of both urban and rural prices eased for the second consecutive month in October, as urban inflation rose by 8.1%, down from 8.4% in September while the rural composite CPI rose by 8.0% in October, down from 8.2% in the previous month. On a month-on-month -month basis, urban prices have increased at the same pace for the previous three consecutive months by 0.5%, while the pace of increase in the rural all times index eased, increasing by 0.5%, down from 0.6% in September, However, the NBS in its quarterly capital importation statistics also noted that despite a steady rise in inflows observed throughout 2014, the cumulated total of about $16.2 billion within the year still fell short of the cumulative total of about $16.6 billion realized in 2013. But for the investment remained the largest at about $5.1 billion, making up 78.3% of the third quarter total. But that represented a decline in its share of 6.3% from the 84.7% it represented in the second quarter, while other investments accounted for at $870.3 million, made up for 13.3% of total capital imported for the quarter, up 6.1%. Foreign direct investment FDI recorded the smallest contribution in the quarter at $544.2 million, marginally expanding its share from the 8.1% recorded in the second quarter. The Nigerian government says it has saved about 588 billion naira since 2009 to, implement, to the implementation of the Public Procurement Act. Mardi Sambo at the first national conference on public procurement in Abuja on Monday, President Gulok Jonathan said his administration will continue to support and strengthen the Bureau of Public Procurement to enable it to ensure transparency in the award of contracts in Nigeria. AIT's Ibwa Omo tells us more. In 1999, former President Olusegun Obasanjo initiated the public procurement reform as part of economic reform agenda designed to restore due process in the award and execution of federal government contracts. The present administration says it will continue to sustain and deepen the reform for the overall good of the country. The fact that public procurement is a major vehicle for delivering social services further underlines the importance that government attaches to the system. The conference seeks to create awareness as well as explore ways on how the Procurement Act can be made to work efficiently. The Act stipulates that public procurement by government agencies should be based on proper needs assessment, adequate appropriation, 
development of solicitation documents, open advertisement, transparent pre-qualification. would like to urge um, to congratulate those who have started the journey, urge the remaining states to please embark on this because what is being lost by the absence of these reforms is critical. So far, 22 state legislatures passed the Public Procurement Act. The Public Procurement Act of 2007 established the Bureau of Public Enterprises charged with the responsibility of providing legal and institutional framework for public procurement in Nigeria. Ebuwa Omo Osaige, AIT News, Abuja. Now to global stock update. A landmark deal to give global investors easier access to China's $3.9 trillion stock market helped lift world shares to their highest in over a month on Monday as renewed tensions in Libya and Ukraine pushed up oil prices. U.S. stocks were little changed on Monday as investors passed in the absence of major market catalysts after the Dow and S&P 500 advanced for a fourth straight week to fresh record height. Now, now I'll leave you with graphic details of Global Stocks. I'm Choma Honyam. to our big story for tonight. You know what shop is? So we are. I they say the 200 dollar take buy it is a lot credit. Any credit of 200 dollar and above where I load now go dead double instant. Even if I load 1000 naira every 5 minutes. Now that every 5 5 minutes it is a lot go knock me double double. When month end, I'll come collect half of everything where I load for that month. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the case I know once I will credit. <laughs> sister, sister, I beg come. See, let me reduce our bag. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, so recharge 200 naira airtime and above, and the staff go double the airtime instant for you. When I want to come ahead, you can collect half of everything when you don't recharge for the month. It is flat. Now you're talking. 